So thank you for your attention and such my pleasure. Thank you so much, Mr. Bout. Now we'll move to uh, uh, Madame Valérie Ducro, who is manager of the gas center of the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe. Uh, and she will provide us with a not only regional, but maybe a global vision of uh, the prospects, energy prospects. Please, Valérie. Thank you very much. Um, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, regarding the time, I'm going to be very free, brief, but I would like to thank the organization for this very uh, useful meeting, which is a platform of discussion of all topics and has a, a member of the United Nations and the manager of the gas center, which is based uh, within the Palais des Nations here in Geneva. I'm very proud to share views with you. I just want to highlight some human resources uh, question from the side of the companies, as I am the, uh, as I represent the, the member companies of the gas center. While technological advances in the gas industry have improved the recovery of hydrocarbons in general, the surging demand for natural gas has attracted sizable investment to increase recovery of unconventional hydrocarbons and such investments are expected to continue to grow. Unconventional hydrocarbons are often located in geographically and geopolitically challenging areas so that innovation and differentiation in technology are becoming increasingly essential for the industry to maintain safe and reliable operations. The industry is also expected to generate millions of direct and indirect jobs. Investment in human capital is critical for the industry to operate progressive technologies and to remain productive and competitive. However, a wide range of skills is substantially lacking, including technical, soft, managerial skills, which particularly acute shortage in technical occupations such as petrochemicals engineers, petroleum and gas engineers, and geologists. These shortages are imposing challenges to the maintaining of scheduled daily operation in the industry. National companies, international companies, and service companies are all affected. A primary cause of these skills shortage is demographic. Large numbers of experienced workers are retiring and fewer young skilled workers are entering the industry unless the industry begins to address these challenges today. It may face a crisis of skills in the next decades as more than half of the employee base leaves the workforce. It needs to take a proactive role adjusting to this labor market transition to support its future workforce demands. Coherent human resources development policies needs to be developed to ensure sustainable expansion taking into account the skills set required. By matching training to labor market demand Providing opportunities for lifelong learning and using skills development to drive innovation and future growth, a virtuous circle can be created. To this end, governments, employers, and workers need to collaborate to formulate a global training strategy for the sector. Such a strategy must include respect for rights at work, non-discrimination, equal opportunities, and treatment for women and men, including youth, good governance, transparency, and accountability. It can also contribute to job rich growth in other sectors through transferable skills and work towards a green economy. The successful implementation of such a strategy will depend on the goodwill and commitment of all stakeholders, 
government, employers, workers, and I would say civil society. Three-party social dialogue will therefore play an important role. Enhanced and coherent recruitment policies needs to be developed in order to attract young workers. And it's really related with was what has been said uh, this morning. Emphasizing the role of human resources department is more important in the oil and gas sector. Additionally, every GCC country is looking towards implementing innovating human resources strategies. The human resources departments of a large number of regional oil and gas producers are currently facing one of the biggest challenges they have encountered in recent years. The prevalent talent pool comprising mainly of engineers who are vital for the sustenance of the entire industry may retire soon. Research indicates that the average age of production engineers in the region is already at around 51 years. Further, recent studies show that by the end of this decade, there will be a 38% shortage of the influx of talented engineers and a 28% shortage of instrumentation and electrical workers. There is a tremendous pressure on the age human resources to replace the aging workforce within the coming years. Training young professionals to replace senior employees who often have more than 25 years of relevant experience is not at all an easy task for our companies. Additionally, job opportunities created in booming sectors such as IT and outsourcing appeals to today's youth with further leads to high rates of employee turnover every day. This talent shortage, along with other recruiting issues, create a big challenge for today's human resources executives. Another big challenge faced by the human resources department is employee development and retention. Motivation, performance appraisal, and reward management contribute greatly towards employee retention and satisfaction. Satisfied and trained employees rarely consider quitting their current profession, even when offered comparatively higher compensation package. The Human Depart Resources Department is deploying newer and modern techniques to retain existing employees and to attract talented young professionals, especially in the oil and gas sector. One technique that is gaining a lot of recognition is e-learning and several companies are slowly implementing it. Besides the EGN factors, including company policy and administration, supervision, working conditions, interpersonal relation, company policies and job security also play a major role in recruitment and employee re retention in the oil and gas sector. It is important to know that creating a short human resources department, a strong human resources department, is not going to show results immediately. It is a journey where the fruits are born over a long term. The way to get started is to link business objective to HR objectives and build a continuous feedback loop Business strategy drives people management and people issues influence strategy. In this regard, I think that the GCC countries have all the potential to play a crucial role in the development of HR skills in the energy, within the energy companies. Thank you very much for your attention.